Juicy. Mmm. <laughs> Don't spies, my dudes. Someone's handling food unsafely. I'm sorry to inform you that we think you have salmonella. We will need to complete a food history to help determine where you may have gotten it from. We will also need to obtain a stool sample to verify. Nurse, get a stool kit. Bum, 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 bum. Stop! Sorry, ninja dude. Look at this. Raw turkey is dripping onto the pie. Raw turkey contains bacteria that can cause foodborne illness. Raw turkey should be stored on the bottom shelf below the pie. You should be storing foods according to the poster I gave you. Uh, what poster? Dude, it's on your refrigerator door. Whoa, like that's my cooking temperature chart. What does that have to do with storing food? If you would have followed the chart, you wouldn't have this mess happening. Look here. Get somebody sick. Yes, I know. That's why I'm here. People did get sick. Anything below the turkey has been contaminated with bacteria and must be thrown away. Now you can start over with fresh, ready to eat foods. If you store foods according to their cooking temperatures, you can prevent cross contamination. Store vegetables, fruits, cooked foods, and other ready to eat foods on the top shelf. That is where the pie would go. Next, you would store raw eggs, fish, and whole cuts of beef and pork. Below those, you store raw ground beef, pork, and fish. On the very bottom, you would store raw chicken and turkey. That way, if anything drips down, the bacteria will be killed by cooking the food properly. Whoa, I get it now. So like, store foods based on cooking temperatures. I'm safe, Dev Ninja. You're safe. 